Uh, hey guys, hopefully your weekend went well. Uh, we're going to continue uh, where we left off uh, with metric units. Uh, so today we've got metric units of mass. Again, kind of how heavy something is or, or how dense it is in the inside. Uh, the key things that we have to know are kilograms, grams, and milligrams. You're going to notice a lot of the same prefixes that we've heard before. Kilo is a thousand of that unit. So kilograms is a thousand grams. And one gram is 1,000 milligrams. Very much like the, the meter stick that we learned a couple days ago. There's 1,000 milli, uh, millimeters in one meter, and there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So again, you're gonna start noticing that those prefixes uh, mean the same thing, uh, regardless of the, the use of measure. So what we got today is we have 6,000 grams, and how many grams, excuse me, how many kilograms with that 6,000 grams be? Well, if we know that there's a thousand grams in every kilogram, now we have six clumps of those thousand. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And each one has a thousand. And each of those thousands is gonna be a kilogram, so there'd be six kilograms. Now, if we have two grams, we call this one gram, and now this one, one gram. If we have two grams this time, and each gram is 1,000 milligrams. Well, one gram equals 1,000. Another gram equals another 1,000 milligrams. So this would be 2,000 milligrams. And that's what we're doing today. We're just kind of converting between the kilograms and the grams and the grams and the milligrams. And you know, I kind of started abbreviating it. Uh, kg for kilograms, uh, g for grams, and then mg for milligrams. Uh, if you head to the bottom of the page, uh, we have our examples. And our first one is 72 grams equals how many milligrams? So same thing, if we have 72 of these little uh, bubbles, how many milligrams would that be? Well, if each one is 1,000, that, mean that, that means there'd be 72,000 milligrams. Uh, for the next one, 8,000 grams is how many kilograms? Uh, so if we have every 1,000 grams equaling one kilogram, and now we have 8,000 grams, and every thousand is one. That means there's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. That means there'd be eight kilograms, because every thousand is one. So you're just taking that 8,000 and you're dividing by 1,000, really. Next, number three, two million milligrams is how many kilograms? So in order to figure out this, you have to figure out how many milligrams are out of a kilogram. So you take this, there's 1,000, milligrams in one gram. So you take that 1,000, and we know there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram times 1,000, and you realize that there is 1 million milligrams in one kilogram. So again, you take that 1,000 times 1,000, figure out how many milligrams are in a kilogram. And we know that there's 1 million milligrams in one kilogram. So if there's 1 million in one, that means in 2 million, there'd be two. Now we have 2,340 kilograms is how many grams. Well, you take that 2,340 kilograms, you have to times it by a thousand. And we know that anytime you times something by a thousand or a ten or a hundred, you just add those zeros. So we're going to put the two, three, four, zero. We're going to add our three other zeros. We're going to put our commas in there. Comma one, comma two. We end up with 2,340,000 grams. Uh, for five, six, seven, eight, you have to kind of compare again. Just like we've done a couple other times, you have to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, so we want to make sure that we are changing the milligrams and the grams or whatever that might be. Uh, so let's change these five grams into milligrams. So again, we know that every gram is, is 1,000 milligrams, so this is 5,000 milligrams. We know that 5,000 is bigger than 4,000. Now we have 64,000 kilograms or 64,000, or excuse me, 64 kilograms or 64,000 grams. So let's change these kilograms into grams times 1,000. And now we have 64,000 grams and 64,000 grams, so that's equal. Now we have three kilograms or 40,000 milligrams. We know that there's one million uh, milligrams and one kilogram, so we change this to milligrams. Three times one million is three million. 
So obviously, three million is much bigger than forty thousand. Even though this forty thousand looks like it'd be bigger, as opposed to three, we know that there's a million milligrams in every kilogram. So we just had to convert it over. And our last one is five thousand grams versus four kilograms. Let's change these kilograms into grams. And again, in order to change kilograms into grams, every kilogram is one thousand. So you times it by a thousand. Four times one thousand is four thousand grams, and voila. Uh, the next page, you're going to be doing a lot of the same thing. Uh, feel free to kind of pop in there. Uh, do that page. Check out the answers. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, thank you.